I mean Rush and you're watching the Red Men TV. Hello and welcome to Daily News Updated Thursday the 25th of February 2016. Uh, the morning of Liverpool versus Augsburg in the Europa League. A uh, huge fucking game for Liverpool Football Club tonight. Cannot wait for it. Atmosphere should be incredible. Um, something that came out of the Europa League press conference though was Daniel Sturridge hit back. Uh, I'm astonished at claims I don't want to play. It is disrespectful. Um, he doesn't want to play. That's an insult. That's what Daniel Sturridge has said. Uh, lots of news regarding this on today's show. But before that, uh, I just wanted to point out something really quickly that we've got loads of um, pre-Capital One Cup final content coming out. We've got our own guide to Wembley. So where you'll be able to drink and all that type of stuff. Where we'll be. Um, some cool stuff about Wembley Park as well. Uh, we've had Lawrence McKenna. Uh, you might have seen him on Ball Street. You might have seen him on Football Republic. He's done a couple of videos videos for us down in London detailing the places so do check that out that'll be coming out tomorrow or later on tonight hopefully um, but back to Daniel Sturridge and today's news I'm happy at Reds just not with those who show disrespect there it is um, Daniel Sturridge is talking about it constantly you know and, and he was really quite frank and open and, and stuff in his interview uh, as I said during the press conference as I say, I will continue to do my best and focus on playing for Liverpool, and that's all that matters. When asked about difficulties of coping with time out through injury, he added, now this is really interesting, so it's a long quote, but it's so interesting if you haven't seen it. In life, there's times when you have great periods and times when you have difficult periods in every job, not just football. It's how you come out, how you deal with those situations. I've never worried about them. A lot of people talk, but I don't listen. I worry about what I can do, what my family feel. I am blessed by God. I have no worries at all. Zero stresses. I'm a happy guy. I've come a long way from Hockley and Birmingham. My roots are Jamaican. I'm blessed. My family are blessed. I'm very ambitious, very determined to help Liverpool have success. I am totally focused and, of course, I want to be on the pitch playing in every game just like every player wants to. It hurts not to be able to play. And I think this is really interesting, isn't it? Because there's there's been a huge movement on social media while Daniel Sturridge was out. And, you know, I think quite rightly so, people questioning his commitments and stuff. And what is great about this is we've not heard Daniel Surridge's side of the story. So regardless of what you thought previous or what anybody thought previous to it, we've now heard it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Daniel Sturridge has said he wants to be at Liverpool, he wants to be playing football, he wants to be a success. That means winning trophies with Liverpool Football Club. Um, and that is something that as a Liverpool fan, you know, I've sat on the couch so many times over the last month already and said that I wouldn't be getting rid of Daniel Sturridge. I would not. I would look at him throughout the rest of the, uh, throughout the pre-season next season and see what he's looking like because I think he is potentially our one world-class player in that squad and the difference maker I see when he when he has come back in when he's looked good we've looked good and that is that is almost priceless at times um one of the Augsburgs on a moving on Marcus oh, sorry the Augsburg boss Marcus Vanzieri Says Christmas has come early, going to Anfield. Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully you get a fucking lump of coal, mate, because Liverpool are going to dick you in the eye. That's what I want to see. That's what Liverpool fans around the world want to see anyway. Apparently the owners are set for Wembley as well. Look at this. Owners set for Wembley. I ran to that, didn't I? Did exactly what I said on the tin there. Uh, Liverpool owners will fly in from America, obviously, to attend Sunday's Capital One Cup final with City. Principal owner John W. Henry, um, Chairman Tom Werner and Fenway Sports Group President Mike Gordon all scheduled to be at Wembley. Um, if you're watching this, we'll be outside doing fan cams. You're more than welcome to come and give us your opinion. And if you want to give us that line about what are they smoking over there on camera, we'll be happy to take that line off you. Yeah. You might even go viral, John. You really might. Trust me, if an Irish guy can go viral, John W. Henry telling Arsenal and Man City what they can do and what they should be doing and what they shouldn't be doing is definitely going to go viral. So the invitation's there, John. And if you're over in England and you fancy a quick flight up to Liverpool to join us on the show on Monday, look, look, it's empty. Show them, Aubrey. Show them. The couches are empty. They're waiting for you, mate. John, they're waiting for you. you. If you want to lift them, you can So, like, <laughs> you're more than welcome. It might be a bit of a squeeze. I might, John, for you. I might get rid of the baby seat in the back. 
but I'm not promising we'll anything. I know, I'm not going to do it for you. You'd fit in the BBC, Torbery. Uh, right, sorry about that. <laughs> Klopp's call cemented my desire to join Reds. That's the next one, James Pearce reporting. Marco Grudge, I think Paul did a little bit on this. Um, but he, what he's saying is that Jürgen Klopp was the reason that he signed for Liverpool. He obviously spoke to Lazar Markovic and he said good things about it as well. He told me that Liverpool is a great club, that the pressures are expect and expectations are enormous and the first two to three months are really important. Lazar knows, Lazar knows. I will have to prove myself and show my qualities. I will have to show what I am made of. I am very confident. I've heard this before from your mate Lazar Markovic. Want to see more from you, lad, when you get here? Want to see more? I believe in you. I believe in you. Um, Nathaniel Klein talking about unsettling Man City. The mind games have started. This is a big news day, isn't it? This, you know, we've got a, such a big game tonight against Osberg, and already it seems that the focus is on Manchester City in the final. Well, I tell you what, the next news says it's fucking not, because Jurgen Klopp says, forget final, we must win in Europe first. And that is so fucking true. It's so obviously true. He's a genius, isn't he? He's an absolute genius. We need to win this game tonight. Liverpool should be winning trophies in Europe. That's what we're about. We're about winning trophies. That means, for me, the UEFA Cup. The UEFA Cup? The UEFA Cup. It means the Capital One Cup. It means the Premier League. It means the Champions League. We need to win these competitions. This is what Liverpool is about, man. And there you go. That's pretty much all in the news, apart from... Lovren joins absentee list after illness strike. So, not good news, I, I suppose. Um, Lovren is ill, set to miss tonight's match, but could be back in time for the final. Um, Klopp's also said Joe Allen's in a good way, but not available. Um, I don't know whether that means it's he's good because he's not available or like he's close to fitness. I'm going to choose to believe that he's close to fitness, uh, but he's not available for tonight. Adam Lallana is in a good way, but not available. Oops. Martin Stertl still not available. So we have a few days and we have three days for Manchester City. These players can turn it around. But what I want to see most is the players who go out on the pitch tonight in the Europa League. A, win the game. B, snot them upside their head. And C, cement their place in the side to take on a bang in form Manchester City on Sunday um, let me know your thoughts of course in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and the Redmen TV are on Snapchat oh yes check it out our snap code is our Twitter uh, profile pick now it's also our Facebook profile pick of course um, but if you want to find us through username it's the Redmen TV it's that simple go and check us out on Snapchat we'll be detailing uh, the build up to Augsburg of course and every single game but most importantly we'll be snapping all the way down to Wembley on Sunday and hopefully snapping after we've won the Capital One Cup anyway thanks very much I'm Chris Prajak for the Redmen TV that's been Aubrey Reynolds he isn't sat in a baby chair, but he could do. Cheers. To a, a, a breather we've had mm. for two months, three months, yeah. really, Sam. You know, no game at no game the weekend after this, then the second leg, and then, of course, we've got yeah. the, the League Cup final to, to follow that. But there's a real chance for them to, to, to actually put, as Matt says, keep the same team, put your best team available out mm. on the pitch. We need to smash it on Thursday, don't we? We need to get out there and deliver and put at least a two-goal lead. No, no disrespect to us, big, 